Large groups of Americans descended on Washington, D.C. and many other cities across the United States on Saturday to decry rising gun violence while urging politicians to take action. Tens of thousands, young and old, gathered under the Washington Monument at the National Mall in the afternoon, many with self-made banners that read, protect children not guns, end gun violence, and, enough is enough, as they listened to speeches from shooting survivors and gun control activists. Sweeta Kumar, a mother from Falls Church, Virginia, stood among the crowd. We all have kids um, in elementary school, and I feel extremely passionate to stand up and start saying something. I wish I would have started earlier. Um, that particular shooting hit me in a way that just shook me to the core, and I feel like the more people that come together and use their voices, the more we can do. Schools are supposed to be a safe place for our children to go. And to have to put our kids on a school bus and be afraid that they are, that this could happen to us, it's just absolutely ridiculous. It shouldn't be happening. And in other countries, we don't hear about this. And if we do hear about it, they do something about it. Alex Spector. A high school student from the Baltimore area north of Washington, D.C., was among the millions of American children and teenagers who regularly practice responding to gun shootings at school, taught to hide under desks, lock classrooms, turn the lights off. We have lockdown drills for um, potential uh, events like that. So we would hide under desks, lock classrooms, turn the lights off. As long as I can remember. I think the first one I remember was like eight years ago in, in like third grade. Was, was my first one. And ever since then, we've, we've had regular lockdown drills. The rally came days after the U.S. House of Representatives passed a gun package that appeared unlikely to be approved by the evenly divided Senate. Senators from both sides of the aisle have engaged in gun legislation talks for a consensus. It's unclear whether the negotiations will bear any fruit as gun violence continues to wreak havoc on American lives.